What's up everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Meredith for those of you guys who are new and today's video is going to be confirming whether or not the sneak peek gender reveal results were accurate or false. Please let me know in the comments down below if you have either done this sneak peek test or you are planning on doing it in the future and let me know if what they told you was accurate or if it was false. I would love to know. I surprised my husband for his birthday with the gender of our baby. The reason I did this is because I had been told for a month prior um, that I would not be able to have my husband attend my anatomy ultrasound with me and the ultrasound was supposed to be about a month after his birthday. So for two months, we had known, or we knew all the way up until the ultrasound, that Luke would not be able to attend the ultrasound with me, and this is our first baby, and that just broke my heart and made me super sad that he wouldn't be able to share in that really special moment with me. And for those of you guys who have done an anatomy, scan, ultrasound, sonogram, whatever you call it before, um, it is very detailed. You're in there for about 40 minutes. They're showing you the baby the entire time and it's so special. And that's just not something that you can repeat to your husband. And I actually tried to take a video in my ultrasound and they told me videos were not allowed. So um, the good news of this story though is that Luke was able to attend my ultrasound. They called me the day before and let me know that he could come. So I was so thankful for that. But had he not been able to join me, which is what we were planning on for months, he would have missed out on a really special moment that I would not have been able to record for him or share with him. And it was so special seeing our baby in what I want to say in real life. <laughs> that sounds silly, but it was so special being able to see the baby up on the screen and knowing that that little life was inside of me right now with its heart beating strong and it was just super special. So with all that being said, um, I didn't want my husband to have to miss out on, well, he was going to have to, but I wanted it to still be special for him is the point. So what I did is I went ahead and did the um, gender test through sneak peek. So what you do is they send you a little kit. You have to sanitize everything, be in a space where there are no males at all, like no, um, well, as best as you can. I mean, I live in an apartment, so I went on my side of the bedroom where Luke does not come over and I sanitized everything and like bleached everything down and then followed step by step what the kit tells you to do. And it took me about, I'd say 30 to 40 minutes total from start to finish and you um, prick yourself with a needle and uh, or a lancet, whatever it's called, and then you collect a little vial about this big full of um, blood. And I know that that sounds icky and it was a little bit <laughs> out of my comfort zone, I'm not gonna lie, um, but it felt worth it to me to be able to share with Luke on his birthday what our baby's gender was. And so if you haven't seen that video, I will link it up here in the cards and I will also drop a link down below in the description box so that you can watch the gender reveal and how I surprised my husband with the gender of our baby on his birthday. And he loved it. He was not upset at all that I went ahead and did that. It was really special for him. And I didn't, I had, I recorded on our camera his reaction and then I had another little hidden phone <laughs> that was going about 60 seconds after I turned off the phone that I had in his face because he hates having cameras on him and in his face. Um, but then after the camera was turned off and the phone was turned off and there were no cameras going, um, Luke gave me the longest hug for like over a minute and he had tears in his eyes and it was just so special for him to be able to find out what our, what our baby's gender was. And it was such a special moment and I'm actually so happy that that was not on camera because it's a special moment that we can share just the two of us for the rest of our lives and I won't ever forget it. And I'm so happy that um, the reveal worked out that way and that he loved it as much as he did. So it was super special, but then how um, frustrating and sad would that be had the reveal not been accurate? For those of you who have either done the gender reveal, the sneak peek gender test, and want to figure out if this is accurate or not, and you're waiting on your results, or if you're just doing some research into the sneak peek, gender test and you want to see if it's going to be accurate or not, I'm making this video for you guys and for anyone else who wanted to know for sure what our baby is, which I completely understand. Um, I was very eager to figure it out too and a little bit nervous, I'm not going to lie. But when I was doing research on the sneak peek gender um, 
test. There were a lot, a lot, a lot of positive reviews and then there were a few hundred, which is a little bit scary, reviews of people who did not get accurate results. And what I noticed is from those people who didn't get accurate results, either um, a lot of the times their DNA was contaminated, so maybe they did not take the whole, do the whole nine yards of sanitizing everything and following step by step the instructions. Um, or sometimes if you're not far enough along, it can um, affect the results. You're supposed to be, I believe, at least eight, eight or nine weeks. I was, I think, 13 weeks when I did the gender test. So I was way past the minimum, which is totally okay. You can, as far as I know, you can take this test whenever after that eight or nine week um, mark, but you know, you're probably going to get your anatomy ultrasound at 20 weeks anyway, so you probably won't need to do it past 20 weeks, but anyway. So those were the main things that I noticed gave false results. Oftentimes, the male result, the baby boy result that you might get was more commonly, what I found in the reviews, false versus the baby girl result. And the reason for that is because when you give your little blood in your vial, that's a mixture of your DNA and then your baby's DNA. The way that they determine if your baby is a boy or a girl is they look for the Y chromosome because females have two X chromosomes and then males have one X, one Y. So if there's any of that Y chromosome in your DNA, then you're having a boy because females do not have the Y chromosome. But where the issues arise is if you have some of like your husband's DNA on underneath your fingernails or you know around where you're taking your blood where you're doing the sample then it can um, affect your sample and make it have false results with that Y chromosome that really was not from the baby it was from male DNA found around um, you know on you or around that space where you were doing your sample. So I did see a good number of reviews of people who were told that they were having a baby boy, but then it ended up being a girl because their DNA sample was contaminated. The good thing about Sneak Peek is that um, they will refund you according to what they say on their website. Um, I haven't gone through this process myself, but if you can present the baby's certificate to show that it was um, a different result than the result that they gave you. Like say they say you're having a boy, you show on your baby's birth certificate that's a girl, they will fully refund you. And I'm sure they just wanna see the birth certificate to make sure that you're not just saying that because um, the test does cost about $100, but I got a really good deal. They were having a Mother's Day sale because Luke's birthday is right around Mother's Day, which is really nice. Um, so I got mine for only, I think it was like $65 or something like that, but they would refund you the whole price of what you paid for the kit. So that is at least sort of a silver lining to getting a negative result. But I'm sure you guys are curious to know if my result was true or false. So the result that we were given is that we are having a baby boy and it was confirmed on our anatomy ultrasound. Yay! So we are having a boy. Sorry if you hear a commotion in the background. That's just Chloe. <laughs> She's kind of scratching in her little cage and jingling her collar around. But anyways, we're so excited that we're having a boy and it really was a breath of relief when I was at the anatomy ultrasound and they told us and showed us, without a shadow of a doubt, that it's a boy because I was just a little bit nervous that after seeing Luke's reaction and how special it was to him, um, I think that would be a little bit hard if we end up having <laughs> opposite of what I told him. And of course he would understand, he wouldn't be upset with me at all. But um, you know, we've had it in our minds for a month now that we're having a boy, so it would be kind of hard to shift that to a girl. But I'm not gonna lie, ever since I got pregnant, Luke and I have really felt like we were having a boy. I've actually never, I maybe like in the very, very beginning, I envisioned what it might be like if it was a girl, but I would say like for the majority of my pregnancy, I've just really felt like it was a boy. So there you have it, you guys. We are officially having a boy and I really felt that it was a boy even before I got the results. When I got the results on my phone, I actually was not phased one single bit. I was like, oh, yeah, I thought so. <laughs> and then when I told Luke, it was so special to be able to do that for him. So make sure that you watch our surprise gender reveal video, which is linked down below in the description box. And um, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that if you are 
thinking about doing the sneak peek gender test, if this was encouraging to you, my biggest advice is to just make sure that you follow the instructions step by step and do not skimp on using the little brush on your fingernails. Don't skimp on washing your hands for the full, I believe it's like a full two minutes. I set the timer on my phone and then I didn't even touch my phone after I was done washing my hands and I didn't even dry my hands. You just let them air dry and don't touch anything except for the kit and then do all the steps and I was super, super careful. So I do think that that was really helpful in giving me an accurate result and making sure that there was no um, way that any DNA could have been left around because I wiped down and bleached <laughs> the bejeebies out of the area where I was doing the test. So make sure that you do that and I think that you will be good to go and I am super excited for you to find out the gender of your baby if you are watching this video so that you can find out your sneak peek result and I do hope for your guys' sake that it was true because that is such a special thing to be able to find out the gender of your baby especially um, not having to wait all the way until that 20 week ultrasound. I completely get it. It is such a long wait. And another thing that I would love to know from you guys is if you have had a baby or if you plan on having a baby in the future, do you think that you will want to find out the gender of your baby before you give birth? Or um, are you the type of person that likes to wait until you give birth? Or do you think that you'll want to wait until you give birth to find out the gender? I would love to know your guys' opinion on that. So let me know that in the comments down below as well. Thanks so much for being here today, you guys. Um, if you like this video and if you found it helpful, please give it a big thumbs up as that really helps my channel and helps it to grow. And don't forget to hit that red subscribe button down below if you like this video and if you wanna see more videos from me in the future. And I look forward to seeing you guys in my next one. Bye.